Hey there guys, I'm basically going to show you how to install the latest iTunes and QuickTime on an older Mac or any Mac basically without upgrading to Snow Leopard. Apple has made some changes lately that basically the latest iTunes and QuickTime will now install only on Macs that has Snow Leopard or newer. And as you can see, I have an iBook G4, which is an older Power PC Mac. And on this one, I only have 10.5.8, which is Leopard. I cannot update to Snow Leopard, even if I wanted to. It just won't install it, unless you have an Intel chip. And I'm sure you've tried it, where you tried to install the latest iTunes on a non- Snow Leopard operating system and he won't let you. Well, here's a bypass for it. Three things you gotta download. The first one is go to cnet.com, that's C N E T dot com, and download QuickTime 7.5.5. Just type that in. And what it is, is a compatibility for your Mac to be able to run QuickTime 7.5.5, which is necessary to for the latest iTunes to install. So anyway, go to CNET.com, go to Download, click on Mac Software. Sorry about my computer, it's a little slow, it's an older one. And on the uh, search box, right there, type in QuickTime. Seven point five point five. And one of the first three that will come up would be a compatibility program. That's the one that you're gonna download. That's the first one, anyway. And it's the second one right there. Apple compatibility update for QuickTime 7.5.5. That's the one right there. All right. That's the one right there. Click on download. Install it. I've already done it on mine, so I'm just going to show you how to, which programs need to be downloaded and installed. Anyway, install it. A Windows thing should come up. Um, you download thing, and it should start download. And it's pretty fast. It's only like, uh, it's only less than three megabytes. So it should take just a few seconds. Install it. Once it's done installing, restart your computer do not forget that you have to restart there's the installation thing uh, the update installer uh, just click continue and go through the process after it's done restarting it comes up again turns on I'm not gonna restart since I already have it installed the next one you have to download now is just go to Google and download I am I should say Search for QuickTime 7.5.5 download. Do not download it from the uh, Apple Store, all right, or from the Apple site. It, it won't let you. Just I tried it, it didn't. So go to uh, other sites like, uh, let's see. You can go to this one here. It's called mac.oldapps.com, which is right there. I don't know if you can see that, but that's mac old mac.oldapps.com. All right. Again, you need to download and install QuickTime 7.5.5. Do not install anything newer than that. All right. So um. Download the uh, QuickTime 7.5.5.
and install it and this time it will let you install it since you already have the compatibility one downloaded earlier again do not install anything newer than QuickTime 7.5.5 once that's done installing which is the necessary QuickTime for you to be able to install the latest iTunes so now the third one and the last one is you can go to apple.com now and this is where we're going to download the latest iTunes and actually this time Apple is going to let you install it there's your apple.com go to iTunes And the latest one they have right now, today is September the 5th, first day of school for a lot of kids, iTunes 10.6, which in the beginning will not let you install on anything uh, if you have an OSS older than Snow Leopard. Anyway, click download, and this time it will let you install it. And to show it to you uh, that I do have it already on my uh, iBook G4 here. Again, this is an iBook G4, not a MacBook. And right here, there is the latest iTunes. And I'm doing this with my iPhone, by the way, an older iPhone. But there's the latest iTunes, and as you can see, I now have latest iTunes on my iPhone. My name is Chris, by the way. As you can see, it's syncing, and I have support on my iPhone, and you probably had that problem before where you had to use an older iTunes to support your iPhone, but And there it is. There's my iPhone running on the latest iTunes on an older Mac. And that's it. That should get you um, back and going. Oh, and they have this new thing on the latest iTunes where you can actually use iCloud for backup. And let's see, that would be, I believe it's right there. See it? I don't know if you can see it that well, but it says you can actually click backup instead of backing up on the computer. You can actually use for free up to five gigabytes up in the air right there. If you click on that, backup to iCloud, it'll let you um, use up to five gigabytes and save some um, things on your computer. Anyway, that's it. Um, I hope I'm able to help you out. Um, if you can, make a donation through PayPal. And um, my email address is, it's my two daughters' name at gmail.com. So hang on. Let me spell it here. I would appreciate the donation since um, rent is due. <laughs> Again, that's uh, Nicole Sarah One at gmail.com. Right there. Nicole, 
N I C O L E, Sarah, S A R A H, the number one, at gmail.com. Thanks, and that's it. Um, with your donation, maybe I can come up with some other tricks. Uh, thank you. <laughs>